Hey there, Luminary here, and it is the 5th of January, 2012. I'm seriously reconsidering what I'm doing with this channel. I, uh, and I, I don't mean it in a bad way, as in, like, things are going to change drastically. I still want to cover the news, but I think I'm going to actually turn it into a weekly show to match my, my name. <laughs> Luminary Weekly. <laughs> Go figure. It used to be my... My little, my little pun on myself where I'm called Luminary Weekly and I have daily shows. It is, it is, it is crazy. But I figure what I could do is, is I could spend the week collecting all the information I need. That way I'll have one good solid episode where I talk about whatever. And if you have followed me this far, you know that all, most of my material is pretty much me talking with a static screen in the background. If I have assets, I'll try to throw it up. And I've tried to stay true to that, but finding press assets... It's kind of hard. I did get a major breakthrough, though. I was accepted into a Capcom's PR site, so anything that Capcom does, I can get assets for, videos and and whatnot. So that's going to be rather exciting, I think. So it's good to be registered that way. But I still want to do that, and there's going to be a major overhaul in the software I'm going to be using. Again, if you've watched my 100th video, you know that I use just about everything I can get my hands on for free. I've got my virtual dub working again, so I've actually moved to doing that. If you want to see a walkthrough of how to use virtual dub, and I've had to use it for the Binding of Isaac playthroughs because you can't record it in full screen using fraps. So I've actually had to use the 640x40 window and then actually crop and whatnot. So I can show you how to do that, and I can show you where to get some of the codecs to use to make it all happen and of course the codec that I use for my my virtual dub encoding is going to be XVID and I do it through multipass because it takes a short amount of time it produces the best quality and it produces the smallest file sizes as opposed if I were to do H.264 or VP8 it would take like here's a good example it for 35 to 40 minutes of footage it took me about an hour to render okay that's not bad and that's doing it in 720p. I, I have my opinions on 1080p. I don't think it is worth <laughs> trying to render anything in 1080p. Because, well, first of all, I can't display it. And secondly, YouTube doesn't really do 1080p all that well. You still see gradient lines. You still see all kinds of stuff that you really shouldn't. I'm not too pleased with it. But... If you want, I can go through and show you how to do that, because I've already showed you how to edit audio. About the only thing new I could show you with Audacity is how to add the second track, so that way you have your your speech track, and then you take the track from Fraps, and you put it in. It It's interesting. But anyway, if that's something you want to see, let me know. Send me an email. Leave in the comments. I will, I'll, I'll put that out, and I'll show you how that works. I think that... I want to do some League of Legends, and by wanting to do League of Legends, I'm not talking like, oh, I've got a level 30 summoner, let's go play some games, I'm talking, alright, I have a level 9 summoner on the US servers, I also have a level 0 summoner, or level 1 server uh, summoner on the EU and US servers, also, I was thinking of picking those up and doing nothing but PvP battles and doing commentary. And I think I've done rather well in the commentary. I've been trying to keep it real lively. I'm not exactly sure. But if that's something you want to see, I can definitely put up some MOBA footage. I think that... I think that would be rather nice. Um, especially since I can, I, can, I can shoot out video pretty fast. Um... Speaking of shooting out video pretty fast, I know that the next term is starting here pretty quick, and I've got a fantastic deal for Adobe Adobe Creative Suite Premiere for like 500 bucks, and it normally runs about 1700 full retail, but I can get uh, an education discount that takes it down to like 500, which would be fantastic, and it comes with all the stuff that it normally comes with. <coughs> Excuse me. So. And I'm probably going to change the look of it because I'll be working with a little bit of After Effects because you can do some neat stuff with After Effects. So I might have a lot of presets as far as when I'm talking or put in music or I can make trailers for things that are coming up that I'm going to do. And it, it should be rather interesting, I think. I'm not exactly sure. But 
But... Anyway, so yeah, those are my questions for you. I've talked for about five minutes, things rolling around in my head. Oh, that's another thing. Um, I am going to still be doing Binding of Isaac. I want to do Binding of Isaac just because it is it is a game that you just can't beat on the first try. I would love to see someone who can go through and beat it on the first try like that. To prove they have absolutely nothing in their, in their inventories or unlocked anything and just run straight through it. That would just make my day. In fact, that may be something I try later, as soon as I beat the game. Uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore, I still want to do some of that. Uh, my time has been rather thin lately between work and and some other things. But I want to do some more of that because it's another game that you just can't beat right off the bat. And I'll continue playing on the same difficulty until I beat it, and then I'll probably move to... I don't know, I'll probably move to the uh, to the harder modes and see how that fares okay so those are the questions i have for you and do leave comments and tell me what you would like to see so uh, i don't normally tell people to give likes on videos because i find it useless i mean it's great feedback don't get me wrong but my my active sub base is not as big as everybody else's so you can actually talk to me directly and i'll listen but if you would like to see some lol stuff going from almost almost or completely new summoner to level 30, doing nothing but PvP matches, I can make that happen, turn it into a daily or twice a week type thing. Um, so if you want to see that, go ahead and leave a like. And the more, you know, I know who you, most of you guys are, so just leave a like and I'll see what I can do about getting some competitive uh, MOBA action going. And of course, um, there's going to be a bit of revamp going on with my channel as far as display quality and what's going on. To give it a little bit more sparkle and, and, and depth. So there you go. Leave a like if you want to see lol. I'm Luminary, and I will see you next time.